Alright, so the infamous homeboy from last night, Tommy Boy, as he called himself, he's gone. I was inside editing a video and I came out and he was gone. Not that I really wanted to ride from the guy, but whatever. But yeah, some guy came up to me and he thought it was cool that I camped at a rest stop and he was, uh, he was impressed that the cops didn't hassle me. And he gave me 20 bucks, so that's sweet. It should be a pretty easy hitch here. Everybody's going towards Indianapolis anyway. Can I film you for like two seconds? I, no, I don't want you no? to film me. No, okay. I don't really. All right, I just explained the entire story about yesterday to the cops. They weren't very impressed, but I explained to them a little bit further and they thought it was pretty cool. So, uh, good guys, good guys. Cops are nice when you don't have any drugs on you. That seat might be stiff, but you can adjust it and go back over. That guy was awesome. He gave me 20 bucks also, and he used to be a teacher at a, at a high school. He taught video production, had a bunch of cool stuff to say. So I'm gonna upload a video at McDonald's now. All right, just spent an hour uploading yesterday's video. Now we're headed to Louisville. <laughs> All right, thanks guys. I'm gonna grab my stuff. It's really bright out here, so I got my Jackie O's on, but uh, a good thing to do is to take them off like that every time a car passes. Uh, you're more likely to get picked up. It's very scientific. I've done a lot of experiments. The best look people give you when they drive by is just the sheer utter confusion. Uh, some people laugh. A lot of people tend to just not look at you. Uh, a lot of some people wave. I wish more people waved. It's fun when people wave. A lot of truckers like to wave, I guess. Yeah, utter confusion or just fear. A lot of chicks don't like to look at you. I've noticed. You want to be in my YouTube video? What's up, YouTube? All right, man, thanks. Yeah. All right, that kid took me a little bit further down the road. He said he only stopped because I had a skateboard. So that's good. Oh, a girl just came up and I'm blowing up her spot. Breaking out the sunscreen. So the cop basically told me that I can't hitchhike on the side of the interstate, but I'm not really on the interstate, so he kind of just told me to move a little bit further down this road. So I walked about 10 feet down the road and I'm still here. This spot sucks pretty bad. I think that, uh, that little meth tweaker girl was a bad omen. She was kind of watching me from the woods back there, but uh, she's gone now. So I think we're gonna get a ride. Here we go. I love traveling and there's nothing that I would want to do more with my life than travel. Yeah, yeah. And like, I love filmmaking too. And like those two combined are like my dream, you know? So I'm like living out my dream right now. Well, today, man, you're young enough to do that. So hell yeah. I think I got out of that spot. It was a bad spot. That guy was drinking and driving, but he was way cooler than Tommy Boy. Uh, so now I'm getting closer to Louisville and I'm gonna run across the road and get to the other side of the on-ramp. Alright, so somebody commented on the first video and said, what do I do for food? What you want to do for food is you want to go to the grocery store and get yourself some fruit and some granola bars and some other good good stuff, peanut butter and tortillas or bagels. And other than that, you just try to eat as cheap as you can, get fast food, and and if you have a cook stove, that's a good idea, so you can cook ramen. And you just steal food from the grocery store. I'm just kidding, you don't do that. Um, shine down. Dude was a nice guy, he was a big Dave Matthews Band fan. And he took me about 30 miles down the road, went a little bit out of his way for me. So thanks, uh, I forgot your name. I know I showed you my YouTube channel though. Hey, you going to Louisville? All right, slowly but surely making my way towards Louisville. It's back there in the background, I can see it. I'm so close to Louisville, I can smell it. I can actually smell some really good food right here too. All right, man. 
Thanks a million. Oh, no problem. No problem, man. I'm trying to show the uh, air show. But yeah, they like that bridge up at night, but right now it should be a couple hundred people on there. But the weather's good. What city? I don't even know what city I'm in. Louisville. What's up? Hey, Hoss, I'm out here in Louisville. We out here. That's the city. I'm skating through the city. We got, we, we out. All right, so people keep mentioning all the, uh, the drug problems out here and the uh, HIV and the meth and the heroin. And that guy was telling me about a bunch of child molesters. So we're gonna get out of Louisville pretty quick. Basically chasing 65 through the whole city. That's actually it right there. I gotta get way to the south end of the city though. It's quite a trek. So I just stumbled upon this big event called the Great Derby Balloon Glow. And apparently the Kentucky Derby is held right around here and that's in about a week. And they're gonna blow up all these big hot air balloons and they're gonna light them up with a bunch of cool lights. So it's gonna be really cool. Yeah, baby, woo! It just goes to show, you never know what's gonna happen. Someday you might just stumble on a big balloon festival. All right, that's it for today's video. I'm gonna go and find a place to set up my tent. Uh, I'm not sure where that's gonna be. It's probably gonna be somewhere pretty sketchy. So I'll see you tomorrow. I think I might make it to Atlanta tomorrow. Good times.